<laughs> All right, alkaline earth metals, also known as group two. Oh, it's your turn. You're right. You have like a sign. So, on your book periodic table, it's these medium yellow colored ones, group two. So that's beryllium. Magnesium, calcium, uh, strontium, barium, and radium. Is that a BA? BA. So those are the six alkaline earth metals. Not to be confused with alkali metals, which we talked about here. <coughs> Physical properties. They're soft. Not quite as soft as alkali metals, but they're pretty soft. Uh, here's a piece of magnesium. I want to pass it around. A small piece. I'll talk about it in a second. Uh, low density. Again, not quite as low as the alkali metals. Um, these are more stable, right? You can hold it, you can pass it around, it's not going to blow up in the air or anything. Uh, sometimes they're used for things like uh, airplane parts, magnesium is. So it's not real strong, but if you need something where you just need something that's really light and it doesn't have to be too strong, then something like magnesium could work for that. Uh, chemical properties. So obviously you're not going to use it for holding a lot of weight or anything. So first and most important, they all have two valence electrons. So hopefully by now you're seeing this pattern. Right, yesterday I told you all the group 1 elements have one valence electron. Today I'm telling you the group 2 elements have two valence electrons. And what will come next eventually will be the group 3A or 13, where boron is. Those will have three valence electrons. So we skip over the middle part. All right, uh, somewhat reactive. Obviously, since I gave you a piece of magnesium to pass around, you can tell they're not as reactive as sodium or potassium or the group 1 metals. Um, if you heat them up enough, they will react with oxygen. That means they burn. Uh, let's put that some react with oxygen. light them on fire. Right. That's usually what we mean when we say react with oxygen. We could either mean you're burning something, or it could be rust or corrosion of copper. That's also reacting with oxygen. And when your body does this too, right? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm not a biologist. Uh, form cations with a plus two charge. Okay, that's it for chemical properties. Let's draw a few of these. Um, and let's do the electron configuration too, so you'll have that. So, uh, what are we doing? Beryllium? So, beryllium's atomic number four. Electron configuration is 1s2, 2s2. So, if we draw beryllium, it'll just be two electrons in the first shell, two in the second. Well, obviously, for all of these, we're going to expect the outer shell to have two electrons. But we did uh, magnesium, atomic number 12. So that's 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. So that'd be 2, 8, and 2. Uh, calcium is 20. 
So that's going to be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. 2882. I'll just do one more just to make sure you get what I want you to get. Strontium is atomic number 38. And so uh, that's going to be 1s2, 2s2, 3p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, 5s2. What's going to be the last orbital for barium? 15. Hmm? What's it going to end with if I wrote the electron configuration for barium? Well, what, what, what would the last, what's this going to be? 5s2. Yeah, so for strontium it's 5s2. For barium it's going to end at 6s2. And for radium, it's going to end with 7s2, right? So that whole column, they're all the s2s, right? So we're getting that. Uh, let's draw this one too. Strontium, 2, 8, 18, 8, 2. And then if we did a barium, it would be 32, 18, 82, and so on. All right, so that's really it for alkaline earth metals. Um, I said that I would show you um, this reaction, so just, no, this one's not quite as exciting as um, as the sodium is.